an absolute killer. He's a slayer. He's everything. Super duper senior, old as fuck, probably a virgin. You know, but it'd be like that sometime. Jeffrey Neckgate will be playing at Simon's Nightclub until he's 45 fucking years old. Do not for me to meet this fellow. If you've ever heard of Van Wilder, he spent seven years in college. This is the real life Van Wilder. You're going up for your eighth year senior at University of Florida, Mr. DJ Neckgate. This, this man has said that the Avengers was out when you were a freshman. I don't know what you're doing with your life, but it's the most impressive shit I've ever seen. The year is 2012. Fifty Shades of Grey is the number one novel. The Avengers is the number one movie. People in the streets are either dancing Gangnam style or screaming YOLO. This is the year that Jeffrey Netgate started college. It's true that Netgate has seen a lot transpire during his tenure at the University of Florida. As just a freshman, he witnessed a Coney 2012-inspired campus revolt. Yeah, for one month we were pissed, but then after that one month, it's like it didn't even happen. In his sophomore year, Netgate witnessed the invention of the social media app Vine. His junior year, Netgate was one of many to joke about his nutsack. Cause some came in the mail today. These nuts. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> His senior year, he watched the world quarrel over the color of the dress. Most people in Gainesville agreed that it was gold and silver. The, the blue and black was for the fucking weirdos. Perhaps derailed by the controversy, in 2016, Netgate was forced to enter his fifth year of college, where he was further distracted by an onslaught of girls in chokers. His sixth year, it was Bitcoin. His seventh, eating Tide Pods. And this year, the year of our Lord, 2019, Netgate has entered his eighth year of college, and he is attempting to do the improbable. He is attempting to graduate. Why is he taking so long to finish college? Uh, Jeff's a learner. He, uh, he steps to the equation, and he understands that if the only way I'm going to be better if I learn more. And uh, he always wants to experience different things. He always wants to pick up different minors. Do you think he's too old to pick up minors? Tony wasn't talking about 17-year-old girls. He was talking about school. Yet still, Netgate's age is a mystery. Have you ever heard him tell his age? No, I've never heard him say it. I thought it was around, like, probably upper 25s. That's what I guessed when I first got here. And then how long ago was that? That was three years ago. Netgate hadn't told anyone his age, which made me suspicious. And I'm not even a suspicious guy. How old are you? I am 24. And that's not true. How old are you for real? <sighs> 26. Is that true? Yeah. Do you regret lying to me? Do I regret lying to the other 100 girls that I told that to? By the way he said it, I don't think he did. The only thing I know is if you're the type of guy who likes to lie to girls, there's one opportunity that towers above the rest. How many spring breaks has he been on? Spring break is probably our country's greatest pastime. And as an eighth year senior, Jeff Netgate has experienced more than one. How many spring breaks? Uh, I mean, probably six or seven spring breaks. Mm -hmm. I mean, knowing that kid, he probably started in high school, so this may be his 10th year doing spring break, you know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> While fun to think about, 10 spring breaks is a little far-fetched. According to Netgate, the number is actually much lower. I've been on the last seven, and then high school I went on two, so I'd say nine. Nine. And what did he learn in all those years in the Mexican water? I do not want a daughter. That's what I've learned. Yeah, yeah. While Netgate was first to go south of the border, his grades weren't far behind, if you know what I'm saying. How many classes do you think he's really failed? Maybe seven. It's, I mean, if we were, I mean, we love to gamble. Mm -hmm. So if you like to gamble over under six, mm -hmm. 
you know, in a year. Probably. And you, what would you take? I'd take the over. Yeah. Yeah. Does this guy go to class? Now and again, he doesn't no, go to class, yeah. does he? Yeah, there was a, uh, he had like a 50% attendance rate, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So like solid enough, enough to get 50% attendance in the class, you know? What do you think was the first moment he realized, you know, hey, I'm not good at school, but I can, I can trick people into thinking I have a job? I would say the first time he DJ'd. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. I need everyone to do this shit with me right now. Here we go. No, 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 no. Hands up, hands up. Shockingly to no one, 26-year-old Jeffrey Netgate is also the most popular DJ at the University of Florida. But is his rise to music stardom sustainable? Do you know what you want to do out of college? I mean, I'm DJing right now, and that's what's paying the bill. That's what I'm doing. I mean, why stop now? Let me stop you right there. Is it paying the bills? When he looks forward into the future, Netgate sees sold-out arenas and topless fans jiggling their titties. If that day comes, and he does leave Florida behind, how will he tell the story? When he looks back at his time here, what do you think he'll say? How do you think he'll sum it up? Uh, it was the best years of his life. He got a ton of pussy. It was the most amazing time of his life. Nothing will ever top this. Mm -hmm. Maybe even having a child won't even top this. Is there a chance in hell that he hasn't peaked yet? He's peaked. He's peaked. Would you tell him that to his face? I tell him all the time. There's no doubt that despite his critics, Netgate has marched forward. But as the late Nelson Mandela once said, bravery isn't the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. What's your biggest fear? Graduating. That's definitely my biggest fear. Why? Because then, all this is gone. This is all gone for me. The beautiful courtyards, the women, yeah. the fun. But There's no fun in the real world. But how do you know that? Because I've tried to venture off there. He wasn't lying. Believe it or not, every single year, from the months of June to August, Netgate removes himself from campus completely for sabbatical. Taking the summer off is like my, my trial period with the real world. You don't like I how that goes? I never purchased the full subscription. Jeffrey Netgate has had one hell of a run. But like us all, eventually he will forget to delete his trial account and be charged the full price of moving on into the real world. When people think about his legacy, what, what will they say when, he, when it's all said and done? His legacy, when he's all said and done, I think he's just going to be like, you know, DJ Netgate, he was here for a while and he had a good time, and we all had a good time with him.